Friday morning on the WDHA Morning Jolt, and it's time for the two-minute drill. I'm Jim Monahan, along with Chris Swendeman. Swendeman, August 18th, and the Yankees are irrelevant. Who could have seen that coming? Not many Yankee fans when the season started, but as the season progressed, Jim, I think everybody saw the train coming down the tracks, and it just this team is one-dimensional, and it showed every bit of the way. They are just not good. That's all there is to it. One of the Yankee beat writers who covers the team for the athletic called this season an unmitigated disaster. And I think he's actually being kind. We've got a weekend series with the Red Sox and in years past, a mid August Red Sox Yankee series would have everybody going, Oh boy, it's the big rivalry. Chris, even if the Yankees sweep these three games, they're still in last place in the American league East. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. Like, I I don't remember the last time I could say a Yankees Red Sox series doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to the for Yankee fans. Red Sox fans have at it. Good luck this weekend because for Yankee fans, this is it's much to do about nothing right now. Now, mathematically, of course, the Yankees still have a chance to make the playoffs and maybe they get out of the wild card round should they get there even. But even if they do, whose head rolls Cashman, Boone, both? I say Boone, and the, realistically, it should be Cashman. I think he's skated by on his laurels for a long time. You know, 2009 is a long time ago, Jim. And I think he's skated by, and, you know, for having the payroll and the money, the access to the funds that he has to buy players and as a GM, I think he's done a, a really poor job, and it showed over the years. And I ultimately, I think it's going to be – Boone, if anyone that gets, you know, their head on the proverbial chopping block, um, I think Cashman will skate and Boone will be the one that'll, that'll, you know, lay the blame at his feet, basically. Well, luckily for the Yankees, they are not the only unmitigated disaster baseball wise in town because the Mets have been absolutely brutal. Can you imagine, can you imagine if the Mets had a good season, what would be going on in the Bronx right now? They'd be losing their minds. And I, although I do think the younger uh, generation of Steinbrenners are much cooler than dad was at, at losing, um, they seem to take it better. Uh, but if the Mets had any success this season, they would be owning New York right now. But they're the Mets, so they're just as bad. And that's the two-minute drill for a Friday morning here at 105.5 WDAJ on the morning show. Hey, Swendham in the DHA Pro Football Pick'em Challenge is coming in a couple of weeks. We'll have to go at each other again. Absolutely. You got the belt from last year. I'm coming for you.